Warm welcome to, to you all, all the distinguished representatives of the University of the Colleges of Humanities and Social Sciences, and very importantly to all the academics from UNISA or other universities and members of the general public who have found the time to join us on this auspicious occasion. And a very special welcome to our three distinguished guests on my left, Peter Vale, Professor of Humanities at the UJ and at Rhodes. Next to him, Shireen Hassim, Professor of Polit Political Science at WITS. And on her left, Shamil Jeppi, Professor of Historical Studies at UCT. We look forward to your insights and wise suggestions. <coughs> it's not possible to underestimate the importance of our topic, which influences all members of the academic fraternity and the broader society at large. But I will leave the reasoning behind this symposium to our next speakers, and firstly to the Vice Chancellor of uh, Vice Principal of Research and Innovation, Professor Mamoketi Setati, on the left of Professor Jeppi, as you know, who has initiated the symposium and guided by such leading scholars as you see present before you today, wishes to encourage debate and to generate the kind of vital and purposeful academic society that we want to see, that we want to create one in which the humanities of every description will prosper. Our guest facilitator, Professor Peter Vale, and will follow Professor Sitati and introduce us both to the two official reports, that commissioned by ASAF, the Academy of Science for South Africa, and that by the Minister of Higher Education, that are the subject of discussion here. And to the two guest speakers, Professor Shireen Hassim and Professor Shamil Jeppi, who will offer us their points of view regarding the reports, not only the official ones, but also those which have been elicited from the UNISA colleges. You'll have noticed from the program that there will be two sessions of debate following the presentations of the two guests. The first from 10.10 10 to 10.30, at which point we will have tea, and the second from 11.40 to 12 o'clock, and we invite you all to express your views openly, without fear or favor, but always constructively. We would like to take from the symposium constructive suggestions on the way forward for South African universities and the University of South Africa in particular. Professor Vale will sum up the proceedings and Professor Greg Cuthbertson Dean of the Graduate School will provide some words of thanks to close our symposium on a happy note and to prepare us for a light finger lunch which has been provided for us today from 12.30 to 1 o'clock. The entire proceedings are being video recorded and will be freely available to all on YouTube. Our warm thanks to Richard Roebuck for doing the recording for us and there is a small detail which I explained to you before discussion which uh, will facilitate uh, or and certainly help his recording process. Before passing you over to Professor Satati, let me draw your attention to the concluding comment in the 150-page ASAF report, which goes to the heart of what we are considering today. I quote, as this is the first ever report on the humanities in South Africa, although comprehensive, it's by no means complete and should thus also serve to stimulate debate and further research on a number of important questions which a study of this nature inevitably raises. There is something of a crisis in the humanities, but a crisis can generate opportunities to do things differently. That the humanities are indispensable is beyond argument, but there are unexplored possibilities about how the humanities can contribute to society and the economy. This challenge should be accepted. And with no further words, I'd like to call Professor Siddharthi to address you.